So a little while back, I was intrigued by this role-playing game, Invisible Sun. It had a lot of the markers, things that I enjoy from a role-playing game in terms of GM, uh, game master interaction. Uh, It focuses on this kind of magical realm. Magic is 90% of the game. I love games that utilize magic in D&D. Given the choice, I'm going to play a wizard or a sorcerer. I like monks too, but I enjoy the possibility, the freedom, the creativity of, of magic. But Invisible Sun has, it's a very unique role-playing game with how it's structured, how the adventures are run, and the back and forth between the DM and the players. It's almost a co-op type game. As, as a dungeon master, there's very minimal preparation, and um, often as a, as, as a GM, you don't know what the story is because the players are creating it with you real time. It's, it's very, very ambitious. So I picked up this game and uh, this leads to the question when I was figuring out working to establish a, a regular group to play. This applies to any role playing system, new role playing system. How do we ease into it? How do you build up a group? How do you find players? Because you're very passionate. You're very in, enthused, right? You've got this new role playing system. And you want to find some players, but not just any players, the right players. Because just as there are multiply different role-playing systems, different systems suit different player personalities. So the first thing I did was try to understand the the basic rules. And again, we're looking at Invisible Sun, but this is really just a a template. I tried to look at the basic core rules, and that, that was going to be the start. We're going to try and keep things as simplified as possible. I created a starter adventure, uh, something that we could play in two or three hours. I had some pre-generated characters, but given the uniqueness of the game, I I wanted my players to kind of make up their own character. And then I invited a bunch of friends to play. A lot of them were role-playing friends from my Dungeons & Dragons group. I had a few players from my Alien RPG group board game friends, um, war gaming friends. And the idea was, I've got this cool, cool new system I'm excited about. I'm going to run a single one-off adventure. And I'd like to share that with you. I'd like you to sit down at the table. Let's roll some dice. Let's flip some cards. Let's have some fun. And there's no expectations beyond that. So the idea was, this was kind of like a hangout and test drive. So as a GM, I I could play the system real time and and learn the rules, but I wasn't committing to any one particular adventure path or story. We were going to see what it could do. Let's, let's see what the cube can do. And at the same time that was put out to all of my players where we could see who would possibly be interested in this, because there might be people interested in, in this particular system that I might not be thinking about. Let's, let's bring everybody in. Let's, let's just bring everybody in And since there's no commitment past the first adventure, if you like it, great. We can continue on. If you don't, that's okay. You know, we still had an evening of fun, flipping cards and rolling dice and creating some memories. So when you pick up that that first system and you're ready to to jump in, have have a pre-game, have a level zero game, have an introductory game, just invite everybody to play and, and don't focus on getting it right or wrong. What is this going to lead to? Can we jump into a big campaign? I mean, that'll kind of work out all in itself, but see where that session zero will lead you. 